only five years ago, the debt was 21 trillion. Today, it's almost 33 trillion. So in five years, we put 13 trillion uh, on the debt. And the consequences of Congress's failure to govern responsibly will have a disastrous impact on the lives of several generations of Americans. It is true that deficit spending is nothing new. With only a few exceptions over the past several decades, the federal government spends more money than it receives every year. Since we do not actually have the money to pay for our spending, the government borrows money by issuing debt in the form of treasury bills, notes, and bonds. In just the past few years, the amount we are forced to borrow has grown dramatically. The national debt increased by almost $2.5 trillion just in this past year alone. Despite Congress's best efforts to bury its collective head in the sand, the bill will ultimately come due. The interest payments on our existing debt are growing at an unsustainable rate. In fiscal year 23, federal net interest payments skyrocketed up to $659 billion, a 40% increase from just the prior year. Debt servicing costs will soon be the second largest line item for federal spending, which will put it ahead of Medicare and defense spending. In recent months, both Fitch ratings and Moody's downgraded their credit ratings on the government due to the large fiscal deficits and rising interest rates. We got away with spending like this for too long because interest rates were historically low. However, rates are on the rise and our government does not appear to be ready for the consequences. Politicians from both sides of the aisle share blame for our addiction to spending money we do not have and we are just now beginning to bear the consequences.